Welcome back, treasure hunters. Hopefully you got to view my number 15 to number six video of my top finds in 2019 that I found at thrift stores less than $10. Now we're gonna get into my top five. There's some really cool stuff in this top five, a little bit of variety, so I hope you enjoy it. If you could, once again, please hit that subscribe button. It'll really help me grow this channel. And let's get into the list. Here at number five is this really eye-catching hand-carved wooden sculpture of an eagle. I immediately, another, you know, all these items at the beginning or in the top of this list are all pieces that as soon as I saw, I knew, you know, I was just drawn towards them. I knew that I was probably going to make that purchase. This one I was a little skeptical at first because a lot of times when you see something, and this is a was a really big sculpture, you know, it was over, I don't know, I, was, I know it was over a foot tall, probably, you know, 14, 15 inches tall and had a wide wingspan. And you can see the amount of detail in this carving. It's all carved from one piece of wood. When I first saw it, I thought it might be some kind of molded, you know, resin composite sculpture or something. But when I picked it up, I knew it was an actual wood sculpture. So folk art like this actually sells really well because each piece is unique. And especially if it's really detailed and well made and not just a touristy type thing. But yeah, this is a very cool sculpture here. Here's an overhead view of just all the detail that went into it and the feathers overlaying with you know all those individual little lines to really give it a lot of detail so didn't have really any damage to it or anything except for a tiny little chip here you can see on the right side of the tail there's a small piece that got chipped off but i mean that's minuscule it was not signed but that's okay i there are some well-known folk artists, especially people that made like duck decoys or that type of work. But for the most part, artists may sign folk art pieces, but they're not super well-known or anything. So this is only priced at $5, which kind of astonished me. But I picked it up for 5 bucks and sold it through Etsy for $300. Uh, next is number four. Okay, here is number four. This is a bronze sculpture slash statue of Green Terra, which she is a female Buddha and one of the most well-known goddesses in the Buddhist world. This is a fairly large statue that I think is about a foot tall and weighed almost nine pounds. It's very detailed. Some of the older ones like this are even more detailed and this is probably more early to mid-century compared to some of the ones you'd see at museums and stuff, which are hundreds of years old. This is still really well done. You can see the detail in her fingers. You can see the detail on her shoulders, which whatever shawl or whatever she's wearing. And as I spin it around here, also the detail goes into the back. A lot of times with cheaper sculptures like this, there will be almost no detail on the back because it takes time to do that and for them to mass produce things or whatever they just focus more on what people are going to be looking at. This actually has a pretty good amount of detail. Here you can get a close-up. There were some of these colored little stones missing throughout the sculpture but that's not really that big of a deal and I don't even know if they're stones. It might just be droplets of paint or something. I can't really remember but on the bottom, it's stamped, I forget exactly what this is called, but it's a, it's just a religious symbol. It's like a double cross or something. Here you can see the statue itself is not complete solid bronze, where it's hollowed out a bit here at the bottom, and this is covering it. But it actually did have a Made in Nepal sticker. So that I knew at least it came from... A region that was more genuine than if it were just to be you know made in a Chinese factory or something again this is one of those pieces that as soon as I saw it and picked it up I knew I was gonna get it especially it was priced at uh, $4.99 I was really really excited to 
take this piece home. And I ended up selling it through my Etsy store for 375 bucks. As soon as it was delivered, even got a raving review from the customer who purchased it because she liked it so much. So that's always good a good feeling to please somebody that much and give them a good deal on a piece of art they love. So now we're going to get into the top three of the 2019 sales. <laughs> Okay, here, coming in at number three, is this antique Spanamoresque style hand-painted plate with the dome center and the luster paint. Uh, this was handmade, hand-painted, very cool. It resembles, these were created if you, like, you can do a search just on Hispanomoresque chargers or plates, and you'll see a lot that are in museums or selling for thousands and thousands of dollars that were made in the 16th 17th century this unfortunately is not one of those but they did recreate these just because people really like the style they have them in their homes so it is a really nicely created piece with some cool luster paint here and the blue accents and that domed center and here at the back you can see that it still ha it has those uh, three little lines going around the outside and that's just where when it was being fired would where it was held but I actually found this any thrift store they always have sections of different things so you know you'll have your glassware and you'll, you'll have baskets in one spot and I actually found this buried in where like pots and pans and candlesticks and stuff were and it was kind of just stuffed under things and when I pulled it out it just seemed like a kind of an important cool piece it's priced for three dollars there is a tiny bit of damage I mean some of the paint has rubbed off in certain spots just a little bit and there are a few tiny chips around the edge but given its age people tend to look past that kind of stuff because this is, is over 100 years old it's obviously not going to be completely mint but there's no huge cracks or fractures to it or it wasn't repaired or anything so I sold this through my Etsy store again purchase price for three bucks and I sold it for 400 and I think that was still a really good deal some of these are listed for double that amount but I'm happy with this find obviously and the purchase now we're going to get into the top two sales of 2019. Coming in at number two here is this limited edition framed photograph. And this was done by Gordon Converse. And he was actually one of the first photographers for the Christian Science Monitor. This photograph is titled Running to the Light. And obviously you can see why. But it really is a striking photograph. It's very nice. Even my wife, who laughs at some of the things that I bring home, she really liked this and wanted to hang it up too. So here is the signature. It's hand signed by Gordon Converse. And again, this is a limited edition. So this is number 34 out of 500 copies. On the back, and this is one thing when I look at any kind of art, I always Checking out the back is so important. I love when I find gallery pieces with this paper pocket on the back and more information about the artist or the piece itself because it makes researching and everything else so much easier. So this folder was actually still in the back here in this pocket. And when you open it up, this is basically a certificate of authenticity stating that you, know, you have a print by Gordon and Converse, and it's printed on the highest quality paper and acid free museum mat, and blah blah blah. So, this is obviously gives credibility. It's so much easier to sell pieces of art with documentation because there are so many people out there that try to sell fake stuff. So, awesome to still find this still in the back. I picked this up for three dollars. I, I, at the time, I didn't know who Gordon Converse was, but seeing with the documentation right there, a quick search 
you know, and it was easy to figure that out. So, so I sold this at a local auction house that I submit items to that, you know, I'm not really sure how much I could really get. I mean, I don't want to price it way too low, but I also don't want it way too high where no one's even going to look twice at it. So I gave it to the auction house for a shot and I got $450 from this, which was honestly a lot lower than I thought because this same photograph sold a year or two ago at auction for close to 1500 So I was expecting more in the 750 to 900 range, but again, it was a $3 investment, so can't complain. Somebody's got a really you know, awesome piece of art to hang up. And now that we've gone through 14 of the top sales, it's time to get to my top sale of 2019. So here's the, my number one top sale of 2019 is this antique watercolor in the original frame here. Uh, this was done by Italian artist Pietro Gambrini. And yes, this is actually a watercolor. I couldn't believe you know, the amount of detail he was able to get using just watercolors and stuff. But this is one of those pieces that, you know, as soon as I saw, especially in, in the frame itself, I mean, that kind of is a giveaway that what's inside this frame, just it, this being such an elaborate frame, it was very heavy that you know, what's showcased in the frame is going to be pretty valuable. This is a duet scene. He's known for doing this kind of work. This was probably made around 1900. Here's his signature. But you can just see the amount of detail and stuff. It's really just a striking painting. Unfortunately, this kind of art isn't really in style right now or um, where it was maybe it might have been a lot more popular like 20 years ago. But the frame itself... Did have some damage to it. You can see this corner's beat up a bit, and there were some fractures and cracks throughout. But given its age, you know, that's not totally uncommon, especially me finding it in a thrift store. You know, I probably got banged around or whatever getting put up. But people concentrate a lot more on the artwork than, you know, the frame that's coming in. So here on the back, you can see it's a uh, Minus all the detailing, it's you know a solid wood frame. Picked this up for nine dollars and ninety nine cents, and I sold it with that same auction house, and I sold it for around six hundred fifty dollars. Really, really nice find. Um, not something that happens every day, but when it does, it's awesome. So that's a wrap. That is my list of my 2019 top finds at thrift stores for less than ten dollars hope you enjoyed it i hope you can get out there and find some of your own treasures make some good profits i thank you once again for watching please hit that subscribe button help me grow this channel and i'll be back soon with some haul videos as well as some different informational videos and possibly even a trip to a store or a flea market or two. Thanks again. See you guys soon and happy hunting.